shocking claim by Senators Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey that the pressure inside the pipes that exploded in the Merrimack Valley last week was 12 times higher than normal. Now that may be less shocking to people who lost everything in the explosions and the fires. Many of them still standing in long lines waiting to file claims against Columbia Gas. WBZ's Louisa Muller is live in Lawrence tonight. And Louisa, as it was yesterday, the frustration level is high. Well, Lisa, David, we may continue to see lines at these claim centers for a long time because the gas company maintains it could take several weeks to restore gas to thousands of customers. And as for Senators Markey and Warren, well, they want to have a hearing about these explosions before the Senate Commerce Committee. What are you hoping to get from Columbia Gas? Yeah, anything that could help us help the most part. It's been extra stressful. Frustrated Andover residents shuffled through a new claim center Tuesday. Justin Worcester. Counting their blessings, even as they hope to get any assistance they can from Columbia Gas. Like, I just gave clothes to somebody who had a baby younger than her yesterday. Because she lost everything in a fire, so. What they're not getting are answers. The National Transportation Safety Board is undertaking an investigation. Under the rules of that investigation, we or anybody involved in the investigation is not allowed to uh, comment on it. The response from Columbia's President Steve Bryant after a letter written by Senators Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren revealed that pressure in gas pipelines prior to last week's explosions was 12 times greater than it should have been. The company has also not begun work on the more than 8,000 meters directly impacted. Continuing the process to address those customers that turned off their gas in an abundance of caution but weren't actually directly impacted by the event. As hundreds of people continue to file through the Lawrence Claim Center, Brian did make one commitment. An immediate $10 million contribution to the Greater Lawrence Disaster Relief Fund. Now, Columbia Gas has until tomorrow to respond to Senators Markey and Warren. We're live in Lawrence, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.